there's supposed to be a video for yesterday actually but i was just busy with some stuff i didn't get time to to film and upload it anyways yeah i feel just ready so ready also very excited rested um Ali is upstairs with the baby because they slept upstairs. I slept downstairs by myself and I was able to... I slept all night through... We went to bed around 9.30. I slept right away and I woke up only this morning. So I hope they slept right away. <laughs> Maybe they didn't because sometimes they go upstairs to sleep and then they don't and then I only noticed that the following morning when I see um, videos on limpy stories that Ali had made with the baby but yeah I'm hoping that they slept I can hear that they are awake at the moment but I'm hoping it's it's uh, 8 in the morning so I'm hoping that they slept through the night yeah I was able to sleep throughout the night no disturbance no nothing from 9 30 up to 7 in the morning I was sleeping and I woke up went to shower they were still sleeping when I woke up so I woke up, went to shower, I also put serum on my face and then moisturizer. Like I haven't used my serum in ages. But today I had time, I was like bathing in peace. Used the bathtub and I also had serum on my face. And I think just feel very rested, especially on a Saturday morning. So yeah, how do I know that I'm ready? How do I... I'm ready. I'm, oh, this is actually cute. Uh, you know what this is? Olivia's, uh, you know, like, uh, it's a teeth. It's also like a ball that she just grab on. It's very easy to grab and then she doesn't lose it quite easily. But mama is using it sometimes as an anti-stress. It's just really cute. And, oh, as a fashion accessory. No, do you see? Anyways, I'm just feeling ready, feeling excited, feeling uh, very happy, in a very better emotional state of mind. And I would say that as an African, I think in our household, um, just a healthy mental health is not really spoken a lot. I mean, it's not even dealt with at all. I don't even think it's going to be taken seriously if I just show up to my mom and say, I'm depressed or something like that. But maybe my mother would take it seriously because she's a nurse. But it's not something that we speak a lot about or that we deal with. It doesn't mean that it doesn't exist, but I think we don't pay so much attention to it. And um, when myself or sometime I feel depressed or I'm dealing with a lot of emotion, I also just find it difficult to navigate through. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should share with people. I don't know if I should share with Ali. Sometimes I also just hide it from Ali and cry somewhere else and things like that. And I think it has been obvious, especially when we filmed the video about, uh, what was it? I think it was titled, We Exposed Ourselves with something like that. It was obvious that I couldn't hide my emotions anymore. I was just really extremely pissed. I wasn't even sure why I was pissed, but I was just, those are just some of the weeks where I was super, super pissed. I don't know, I'm not sure why, but sometimes just simple things. Anyways, now I feel very ready. Ready, 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 ready. I know that I'm ready because at the moment I'm able to go to work and work through the whole day without actually having to call Ali at home and ask how the baby is doing every hour. Like, how are you doing? How are you doing? I'm not there anymore. I feel like I found a good rhythm how things are working at work. And for me, like I have now, I feel I've also integrated fully at work and I'm able to just go through my work day without worrying so much about the baby. I don't have to call Ali all the time. And the other thing is like when the past few days I slept um, downstairs because we are always alternating. So one parent sleep with the child upstairs because upstairs we have the baby bed and also we have our family bed the other one sleep downstairs so we always alternating one can sleep through the night one can if baby needs milk or whatever can wake up and we are always alternating and back in the day it was like when i would sleep downstairs is i would um maybe wake up through the night and go check on ali or if the baby start complaining or crying i would wake up and go check on them or I would, even if i don't hear anything i would also just wake up and go check on them but now i'm able to really just 
9.30 I go to bed and I wake up at 7 or at 6 or at 5 if I have to go to work. Like my emotions are now where they're supposed to be postpartum. Like uh, my energy level is also more positive. Uh, my emotions, I'm not that emotional and sensitive anymore and I'm able to just relax and I feel now I'm in a state of mind where I'm saying I'm ready emotionally because I think it's mainly emotions, emotions, emotions and worrying about the baby but I feel like now I am emotionally ready to to move forward and start living again and also play, play the and also play the role of Alice's partner like not only I'm a mother and we are parenting baby Olivia together but also to be there as a, as a girlfriend that I am now like you know my role to go back to our relationship maybe to go back to intimacy to go back to spending more time together time together when you know when the baby is uh, sleeping or oh, also to leave the baby with an uh, you know with a babysitter and then we can just take some time a day off you know go to Berlin or go to a spa or whatever I'm I feel like I'm there now I'm 100% sure now I'm emotionally ready to go back to living okay like I'm I'm out of that state of mind where oh my newborn my newborn oh, plus he's not a newborn anymore now she's four months old thank you Lord Jesus beautiful so grateful for that so grateful not a newborn anymore and that's also Ah, we're leaving. She's healthy. She's not that sensitive anymore. Give the bottle. That's it. So, yeah, this is where we are at now. I'm just so happy. And I'm also happy that I'm now in a happier state of mind. I'm happy that, that we have reached this stage. And, and I think Ali also is happy to see that I'm now in a better state of mind and I'm not here to cause small argument or to be just pissed about uh, nothing and not sharing what I'm pissed about and things like that. So I think I'm emotionally ready and we are ready to go back to just also being a couple excited about. Go ahead. Hello guys, I don't know what is the video about, <laughs> but it's fine. No, you know what the video about? No. I cannot hey. find my elastic bands because you're always using all my hair stuff now. Ah, okay, yeah. Can maybe you just buy your own set? Yeah. Or maybe cut your hair? Maybe cut my hair, but I don't know if my child is going to recognize me then. And she's always playing with my hair. So. Yeah, and that's, that's not what I want. Oh. Yeah, but she, in the bathroom as well. You don't well. even know if uh, it's uh, my air or the uh, okay. own air because Just, we have the same air yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. So but now, your now you are two people to blame. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cut your hair off. I'm and going to cut <laughs> the hair off Amore no. and Papa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gone. Okay, I'm coming. I have already boiled water for coffee. Everything's on the table. I'm coming. I was just making Olivia. I don't know how to that. To pen to kapo hamano. To kati che po heari kachona. To kapo pen to kero pongo ye. Hmm. That was it. That was it today. I just wanted to come here and really spread some positive energy. Positive energy. No more negativity on the channel. Super. Positive energy. I'm feeling really positive, and I think I want to keep up just coming here and share positive. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, leave that in the comment section below, and do be back on Sunday with even more positive videos. Hey guys, thank you so much for your endless support. See you in our next video. Ciao, ciao, ciao.